Hello, thank you. Thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to set up a kind of a kind of a basement in a way. It's not going to be really correct for a basement. It does provide uh, some basic structural elements that would be included with a basement, uh, including the the wall structure and the floor that would go with it. There's a lot more involved in regard to uh, uh, foundation work, such as the footings and stem walls. But this simulation or this uh, representation of the basements is going to consist of a uh, a floor that's going to represent both the footing and the slab. And uh, the basement walls which would serve as kind of like a stem wall in a way, but it's going to be actually a basement wall that would go all the way up from that slab, all the way up to the first floor. Now typically what they do is, you uh, and you would do this in uh, Revit Architecture too, is you would have a foot in that would support the walls, and uh, once you get the walls built, then you pour into slabs. So there's actually three elements in there, and what I'm going to be doing with this video is showing how to do, uh, uh, kind of cheating it a little bit, just for simplicity for now, and just showing you how to do just the, the floor and the walls themselves. So it's a fairly easy thing to do. So the first thing you do is, uh, if you haven't done it yet already, if you haven't learned how to do it, and that's going to be the, the basis of this first video, is setting up your levels. Let's go to one of the elevations. That's where you find your levels. And it typically defaults to level 1 and level 2. And just because we want to make sure that everything's capitalized, anything that might appear in your drawings, ultimately, you want to make sure that they're capitalized. So we're instead of calling level 1, level 1, uh, the default setting, we're going to press the cap button and call that first floor. You don't necessarily have to call it the same thing I'm calling it. But um, you do want to make sure that uh, you know it's all capitalized. So, would you like to rename the corresponding views? And that is yes. The corresponding views would be like the plan views and the other elevation views. So you want to do yes here. Otherwise, it might trip you up. You might get something that uh, you know maybe different names at different levels and uh, you know on the, your different elevations, which may not be really uh, desirable. Second floor. Too big of fingers on the keyboard. So yes, we want to make that to the corresponding uh, uh, levels and views and the other views. So uh, we want to make our second floor. Um, let's make a second floor. A second floor. Uh, Eleven feet. Now we're going to create two different levels. We're going to create our, our two additional levels in regard to the levels that we already have. These are already aligned. Let's create a basement level. The easiest way to do that is right in your screen, if you just uh, press the control key and select the line, not the targets or the text over here, but the line that represents that plane, that uh, level plane for the first floor, uh, if you press the contour, control key and drag that out, it should align it. You can see the padlock is there and you have that, uh, that um, what I call polar, uh, polar tracking. Uh, it's an AutoCAD term. It shows you that those levels are lined up, then we're okay. And so to level three, we're going to make that basement. Capitalized. Value, minus 11 feet. And there we have it. There's our first three levels. To make a level visible. You notice that these two level targets are blue, which means they're interactive, which means that uh, you do have other associations in, uh, in your project here. And those associations are going to be on your floor plans, your first and second floor plan. We want to create a floor plan for the basement. So let's go to View. Go to Plan Views button. Pull that down. Go to Floor Plan. And you notice a basement is there, sitting all by itself. That's the only floor plan we haven't made yet, so press OK. And there's our floor plan. And it's, you can see that it's already included in our project browser. So that's it for this video. Join me for the next one.